Okay, how are we doing today, uh, YouTube subscribers? Got something new here. Uh, it's kind of neat and a little different uh, than uh, the regular standard CB aspect. Uh, but I've managed to get this working on uh, the CB frequency. So I want to tell you a little bit about what this are, what this is. Uh, basically, what I've got here is uh, what they call a thing called SDR radio. And I've been kind of interested in this for a little bit and just uh, never really have taken the time or anything out to uh, really uh, check it all out. But uh, basically, uh, you know, I'm running uh, CB on my computer. And uh, I'll give you a demo of it uh, in action here in a second. But uh, let me give you a little clue in of uh, what we got working here. Uh, basically, it's this little dongle. Plugs into your computer. Little port here on the side is for uh, the antenna. Now, when you buy the kit, they give you a remote with it. I haven't even unpacked the remote yet. It's still in the plastic. Uh, and they give you this little antenna. Of course, I've already uh, taken the coax out the little antenna that they give you. Now, when you first get all this hooked up and get the software running on your computer, it's pretty cool because you can pick up some stuff with the little antenna. Now, it's not that great. I didn't pick up no CB or, or ham frequencies. Um, but uh, basically, the dongle itself uh, is good from um, 24 to 30 megahertz. So that was just perfect for us because we're in 27. So uh, this is the place I got it from, New New Elect or No Elect, and uh, I got it from them. And basically, like I said, I took the antenna apart, took the uh, it was RG set 174. I thought I was gonna have to get some coax, but they got a uh, MX connector on it. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. Little connector, it goes into the side of the dongle, and uh, basically uh, this just plugs in right into your computer into one of the USB ports. Okay, and uh, you know, you uh, load up the software. Uh, there's a bunch of how to start guides out there on getting all your drivers loaded and whatnot, which is pretty, pretty cut and dry. Now, I've used a couple different programs um, with this, and uh, the program I'm using right now is SDR Sharp, which, uh, in my opinion, has the best uh, receive capability for our megahertz. Now, there are a couple other uh, softwares out there I've tried at uh, HD. DR, I think is what it was called. Um, wasn't really, I like the design, the interface, and everything of that program, but the receive capabilities just uh, was, wasn't there for my liking. And most of these guys say to get an up converter or get this other type of SDR deal. And I, you know, right now just dipping into it, I didn't want to go deep. So, uh, you know, I bought this little deal, uh, pretty cool, shipped to the door. I think it was like $21. You know, so relatively cheap, hooks into your computer. Uh, you know, and basically what I did is I just took their coax, I left it the length they had it, which was about three foot. Uh, on the other end, I can't really show you where it's going now because I've wired it into a homemade dowel key that I made up. And uh, I've got everything kind of tight, so I can't really pull this out to show you the BNC connector. But I basically put a BNC connector on here so I can tap it into uh, that. So what I basically do is I'm receiving through this setup here. And I transmit through uh, my Madison, and I just uh, basically made up a homemade dowel key. Now, you can go and buy, let me see if I can get it. You can go and buy uh, a dowel key kind of like this. See, it's got two BNC connectors on it, and then a uh, coax connector. Now, the coax connector is for your antenna, and then one of these is normally open and one's normally closed. And, of course, you know, transmitter goes on one side, receiver would go on the other. You hook up 12 volts to it, but you you got to have a... a a relay to basically tell this one to open and close. It's got its own relay on it also, but I just thought it would be, just be so much easier to uh, build a relay in my own dial key. Um, and I made a video of that too to give you all a little demo of how that was made. Uh, I just got that all done up uh, this morning. So, but uh, let me uh, let me get this uh, <clears throat> plugged into my computer, and I'll be right back and I'll show you it in action. Okay, I don't know how well you can see it down there, but basically I've got my computer all uh, packed up inside this cabinet here. And it's down there plugged into the face of the computer because, of course, I don't have uh, pretty much uh, all my USBs in the back of this computer filled up. But uh, there it is plugged in. The little antenna's uh, plugged into it also. Um, I have fired up the program, and there we are running. Now, I'm not going to get into telling you how to run the software and all this because I'm still playing with it myself. I'm only... Uh, day or two days into this uh, now but uh, basically what you have is you have your uh, your graft up here or uh, what they call it is uh, basically like a uh, spectrum analyzer or something of that nature and then uh, below that is your waterfall and uh, of course you configure when you when you load it up I don't know how well you can see this but 
if you look right here, uh, it uh, that's the driver. It's for the RT SDR slash USB. And they give you a whole bunch of different options if you buy one of those modules. Now, there's a whole bunch of different modules. And I've gotten this to work on the USB and this generic guy right here. But uh, the USB gives you such a better signal. Um, and, of course, you can pick uh, up here, you know, if you want uh, narrow FM, wide FM, AM, DSB, CW, LSB, USB, and RAW. Um, I've only played uh, with the uh, sidebands, AM. I played with the narrow and the wide. Uh, this program's really, really cool. You can set your bandwidth. So right now I've got to set it. Uh, I don't know how well y'all can really see that because uh, you know I'm working my iPhone for the camera. But uh, I've got to set a 7K for bandwidth. And uh, I did some water gates this morning um, of a couple of the Hi-Fi guys, and I ran it up as high as 10K. Now I don't know how well you can hear this. I've got to go through a little cheesy uh, CD speaker through my mixer. But uh, let me turn the volume up, so. So, that's what we're actually hearing over the air right now. DX is rolling on uh, 28. Now, let me show you something that's pretty cool. I can go through and I can uh, hit this number right there and just start phasing right on through. Okay, so, you know, you can, which is pretty cool for me because I go from, uh, that's channel 11 to 28. So, it's pretty cool, but you can also go to this number. And go all the way through now another cool feature is you could just type the number in if you wanted to so basically if you uh, if you went to here you could just hit that right there and then uh, as you see the numbers on one and I just type in 27 20 8 5 and hit enter and there we go BAM so it's it's that easy and then of course like I said over here you could change your bandwidth right now we're at 7 so watch this. I'll just jump it up to 10. And I don't know if y'all could really hear the difference because I had the speaker down. But that's a 10K. Um, 10K on that. I found that everybody really, you know, because there's C-beers and hi-fi guys out there. So I kind of found that the, uh, the, the little place that I like was 7. And there's 7. You know, so that's... You know, one of the things I've changed my step size. Um, this is the AF game, basically your volume control. And as you see, I can bring it up and down. Um, a little bit too loud right there. Of course, some of that's my mixer too. But let me turn that down. Then you have uh, this deal here, which can change your graph setting. So you can uh, you could do uh, you know if you want to knock out if if you look from say like here to here. You know, there's that, just that gap there of nothing but, and that's basically noise, static. So you can take that and you can adjust it right on down. So all you want to see is the points. And then your, your waterfall or, you know, the range, you can change your range settings. So you can see a lot more of the band if you want. You know, um, basically, that's kind of what it does, the range. The zoom feature, I'm sorry, was the band. Uh, that's where you can increase if you want to see more of the band. And basically, that's it's kind of hard to see with this phone on the computer. But this contrast deal right here, this slider here, if you look down and you see them numbers, you'll see them change. So you can widen it up so you're not just looking at one place. You know, you can shrink it down so you can see almost the whole 1 through 40 band. Which, uh, if you see, I'm going from 26,760 all the way up to 27,840. And that's all the skip that's pretty much rolling right now in them frequencies. I didn't need it that far, so I kind of moved it down a little bit. I just wanted to kind of see from the bowl on up, and uh, that's pretty much what I have going on here. Then you got your waterfall here, which is pretty cool, because uh, with the waterfall, as you see, you got the uh, dark color, blue, but then you see these highlight colors, like over here. You see this little yellow thing? If I click it over here and I just point it right on that highlight, that's telling me that there's a lot of stuff rolling on that channel, so I can just click it right there. And it drags that cursor right, right to that channel. So right now I'm on the bowl. So, you know, you, you can, it's pretty cool because you can do all these different things with it. And we just go back to 28. Now all I did was click it. I didn't hit no numbers. So you have that. You can buy the, or well not buy, there's no, this is a free program by the way. So there's no buying. But you can get, you can download the level meter. You know, that's a plug-in to it. Um, they have a whole bunch of different plug-ins. 
um, I'm going to minus this display down. So, you, you know, I've got the, the level meter plug in. Uh, that trunker is if you wanted to listen to, like, the police and stuff. Um, frequency manager comes with it. The recorder comes with it, which I've already used it. I've recorded some people right off the air this morning. Turned out beautiful. Uh, I put this plug in, in the digital noise reduction. Uh, that helps knock out some of the noise that you'll get. Same thing with a noise blanker plug in. So, uh, you know, it, it, it has some pretty cool features. And like I said, I'm still working with it. But uh, this is SDR radio for the cheap, man. Uh, I think it was 20 bucks or $21 shipped to my door. Little dongle. Little bit of setting up software. Um, I'm not going to say it was the easiest thing in the world. But uh, I managed to get it working. And I love it. It's great. Um, no complaints so far. Uh, as you hear. And the receive is just so much better than just listening to it through, through a CB radio. It, it's just wonderful. Now there's other features that can be plugged into it too. And I haven't gotten to those plug-ins yet. Uh, there's, um, I don't even think I put them on this computer yet. But... There, there's a list of plugins online for SDR Sharp. One of them is being a spectrum analyzer, um, a scope, all kinds of stuff, man. Which I thought was pretty pretty cool, too. So, uh, I haven't loaded those in yet. This is just me getting it started. Uh, you can also configure your tuner, that, which is the USB uh, dongle. And you can raise your RF gain up and down. You know, so, you know, if you are hearing a bunch of trash, you can knock some of it out, whatever. Um... But there's all kinds of cool stuff. Now, the only the, the real cool thing I thought really about this was I could take this sucker and let me see if I can do it real fast right now before I click this video off. And uh, let's see if we can't tune us in some uh, some tunes. Whoop! Too far. Now watch this. Now and then what we want to do is we come over here and we'll hit wide FM. And then uh, I just hit the auto tuner for this. You know what? Let me see. Let's do this. We gotta turn off. There we go. You gotta turn off your noise reductions because they're really for AM more than anything. But that's stereo. So, we're listening to stereo right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and I can just cruise right on down, as you see. And it's the same thing as before with the waterfall. You just look for, you know, whatever you see in there. And uh, let me see here. There we go. Little country. So, you know, this is pretty cool. Um, I think I picked up this station earlier, too. Little, little rat. And, I mean, this is all done on my CB antenna outside, my Mr. Coily Enforcer. So, this is a pretty wild program, man. I mean, uh, I'm just going up through here. Of course, that's the channel I listen to mostly, Classic Rock. Now, the other thing that it's not showing me on this particular channel, but on certain channels, it will tell you the frequency. But uh, it's not really showing it right now, but I've seen it on my other computer, and I don't know why it ain't doing it here. Let me see. It was showing me earlier... Uh, what channel I was on, it come up here in the top and tell me the channel frequency and everything. But uh, I'm really not sure why it's not showing me that now. Maybe it's something I got to go in here and try to figure out again. Um, could be anything. Um, let's see. So I'm not 100% sure why it's not showing me all that. But. Hey, I'm not going to sit here and worry about that too much. It's a pretty cool program. If you want something for the cheap for SDR radio, this is the stuff. You know, I mean, I've, I've checked out the weather, NOAA weather, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's, it's pretty cool. Let me turn this down. Uh, but there you go. A dip into SDR on the download cheap for 20 bucks. I'm thinking now that I'm going to you know, look at uh, maybe a flex radio or one of the other jobs because this is working pretty good and I can only imagine 
the better units how well they receive compared to this little dongle deal. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I might have taught you something. I got a video coming up after this one of the uh, dongle and how to make that for the setup also. Y'all have a wonderful uh, evening and wish all them moms out there uh, happy Mother's Day, no doubt. If it wasn't for mom, we all wouldn't be here. They call me Stickman at the New Name Amp Shop, and I'll see you. Bye-bye.